Gonna need this. Oh, don't need it on that one. One time I bring the lighter and they'll all open perfectly. It's about right that, isn't it? <laughs> Yesterday I had to cup the padlocks with my hands and breathe on them for about five minutes before I could get a key in there to open them. Hello chickens, how you all doing? I can see three of you and two boys. So you survived, you survived the minus seven. That's what they said it was gonna be. Your food bin things open, which is never a good sign. Get that out of the way. See if we can open these, shall we? See if we can open these. no good and that one's no good so I did need the lighter let's get cracker jacking on it shall we try and get some heat right up the lock right up its shaft I'm here all week tip the waitress try the veal Give that a go. There we go. A bit of lighter action, does it? A bit of Felix lighter in the mornings. God, these puns are shocking, aren't they? Oh, right, let's get you some food. Well, that's the first frost for the yak on. Fingers crossed. It'll be alright like last year. I've got to pull that up tomorrow, harvest it, and then hopefully get the crown somewhere warm. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. If not, I'll have to buy another one. Now last time it was really frosty and I went in here. There was a rat asleep. It was. Ooh. Spider's web scared me. Um, yeah, there's a rat asleep in a box and I woke it up and put my hand on it. Well, I put my hand on the uh, green fabric stuff next to it and it was all curled up in it. And I moved it and the rat kind of like yawned and he kind of looked at me and went, oh! and then scarpered. So, give things a bit of a poke because I don't want to scare it and get accidentally bitten by one. Gets heavier every day, that doesn't get too old. Now it's cold and frosty, I come down every day because of their water and stuff. So I try not to give them too much food. I don't want to overfeed the rat and mice population. And as you can see, when it gets cold and frosty, the treble thing stops working. Because the water and the stuff gets frozen to it. 
So as it's still 34 actually. Which is good. If it's pretty full, it normally means that there has been no ratatas about. Ah, let's break this again. Let's get the hammer. I'm going to chuck a bit of this on here for the birds, the squirrels, whatever else is about. It's going to be a rough time for creatures at the moment. Get there. Get my ice hammer. Right, it's not my ice hammer, but it is today. something quite satisfying about doing that in there. Let's get this tapped open. Now, if you can, you can get it out in one. And then that means it doesn't freeze as quick. But this isn't gonna come out in one. As the chickens get a good drink and never the lettuce they should be fine because it's not hot obviously today get this out in one no it's not coming out in one there we go the joys of allotment chicken keeping in winter to be fair, it keeps me going. It means I've got to get up and do something every day. It means I can't wallow in my own self-pity. Uh, and even though my back is absolutely killing, I best give them some more hay, make sure they're warm tonight. The chickens have got to be looked after, regardless of how I'm feeling. My chickens have got to be looked after. My old girl's looking a bit old and bedraggled, bless her. You're all right though, aren't you? Might be your last Christmas though, mightn't it? But you've looked like that for years, haven't you? You've always looked bedraggled. Cold, isn't it? But that's really cold. I'm not cleaning this out at the moment because I'm trying to keep as much hay in there as possible so I'm adding more to it every day. Just for warmth. And then I'll, I'll do a big clean at the end of the week. There you go. Put someone on the floor because you like to scratch it, don't you? And obviously that coop is like triple skin, so... And the door is around that side where it doesn't get a draft. So it actually gets quite warm. But as you'll see, there's still a couple of birds that stay out all night, even in this cold. See the piles of poo? It's just hardcore, absolutely hardcore chickens. But I let them sleep where they want to sleep. There's three places they can sleep in that coop. All out of the wind. One of them is insulated full of hay. The other one's on the ground, completely dark, but with a perch in it. And obviously there's a little wooden box in the corner. But there's a couple of them who like to sleep on the little wooden box in the elements all day. And see the roof's all gone in. Now I thought that had ripped uh, because of the chicken wire. Um, and then I looked around the side the other day and you can see where something's been clawing at it. So I'm pretty sure that the fox has got up on it. And sometimes a chicken sleeps on top of the 
the green one or it stands there and I think a fox has got up on it and gone scratching at the plastic so I've decided that I'm going to not buy any more tarp because it's it's just a waste of plastic because it gets destroyed so I'm going to get some of that corrugated thick plastic sheet and put that on so it'll be a permanent roof a permanent clear roof that keep the water off so fingers crossed anyway I'm going to turn the camera off I've got a few things to do what a lovely frosty day oh I can smell those onions that's them there that's the coming to see the defrosting yeah there's three corner onions what are they called three corner leeks oh, I can smell them I've got to sort all this out soon I've really got to increase the chicken coop size it's just been a, it's been a, been a tough few months actually it's been a tough few months but yeah I've got to chicken wire all this up and try and get it done the weekend try my IBS has been killing me it's been it's been it's been hard at the moment I don't always talk about my IBS I've had it for years it just seems to be the last few months it's been really bad uh, it's getting it's getting slightly better though but although I've got a toilet down here it's you know sometimes you don't want to come down and poo in a shed uh, been playing up this morning actually and obviously you come down here you see jobs and think I've got to come down here and do a job but if any of you I don't know if any of you get IBS or anything like that but the, oh, the cramps do me something chronic make me feel really really tired and drained and zap me of energy and I haven't got much energy at the best of times oh. I should go this way into the sun let's walk into the sun how nice and frosty that is. Put the camera down there. <sighs> Hello, Mr. Blackbird or Mrs. Blackbird. It's quite nice to be out actually. Although anyone walking down that lane will think I'm mad because I've got my chest strap on so it doesn't look like I'm filming but it just looks like I'm talking to myself which I suppose I am talking to myself because there's nobody here just hear the road a dog a pigeon And my thoughts, that's all I can hear. God, you can hear your thoughts quite a lot, don't you? Wish sometimes you could turn them off. Oh, is that sun? Is that sun? Oh, let's get that sun on my face. Oh, it feels so nice. Oh, sun on my face. And that's it, folks. That is a normal, average kind of day doing my chickens very quickly the daily cold check so until next time folks take care speak soon do you remember the days in your car when you wanted to turn the heating on and off and you just turned it on dial like this left and right and it was instant and you could do it like you were just driving and you could just go, oh, I'm too hot, I'll turn it down. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you'd be driving in the old days, and you'd be like, I'm far too hot in my car. And you just turn this little dial, just a little dial there, just turn it, and you'd be cool again. And you'd go, I'm too cold now, and you'd turn it, and then you'd be warm again. But then someone said technology would be the answer. And we've got to put iPads and stuff in screens and we've got to put all these buttons and now when you're driving down the road you've got to concentrate ahead you've got to look at all the traffic you've got to keep your hands on the steering wheel and you've also got to press this thing four million times to turn the heat down look at it one button at a time to do half a degree it's absolutely ridiculous look at it 
You want the fan on? You got one, two, three. If it works, because I've got gloves on. How is that an improvement in technology? I'm sorry, but we need to go back to just having a little dial. Heat on, heat off, and everything in between.